the title is The Cat Inside. Uh, May 4th, 1985, I am packing for a short trip to New York to discuss the cat book with Brian Geisen, who is going to do the illustrations. In the front room where the kittens are kept, Calico Joan is nursing one black kitten, a little calico cat. She had five kittens. I pick up my tourister. It seems heavy. I look inside, and there are four kittens. Take care of my babies. Take them with you wherever you go. <clears throat> oh, here we are, yes. I'm selecting cat food at the pet shop in Dillon's, and I meet an old woman. Seems her cats won't eat any cat food with fish in it. Well, I tell her mine are just the opposite. They prefer their fishy foods like salmon dinner and seafood supper. Well, she says they certainly are company. And what can she do for her company when there is no Dillon's and no pet shop? What can I do? What can I do? I simply couldn't stand to see my cats hungry. Well, uh, there, of course, there are many, uh, many wild cats, some of them that could be tamed, uh, cats that weigh only three pounds. However, there will be fewer and fewer exotic, beautiful animals. <clears throat> uh, the, the rainforests of Borneo and South America are going to make way for what? At Los Alamos Ranch School, where they later made the atom bomb and couldn't wait to drop it on the evil east, the yellow peril, the boys are sitting on logs and rocks eating some sort of food. Uh, there is a stream at the end of a slope. The counselor was a southerner with a politician look about him. Like many southerners, he was a natural orator, just naturally full of bullshit. He told us stories by the campfire, culled from the racist garbage of the insidious Sax Romer. You remember Sax Romer, who created the insidious Dr. Fu Manchu, first yellow peril? And Fu Manchu went on and on like Tarzan. You thought he was dead, and then he'd pop up again. He also wrote books about evil Egyptians, the green eyes of Bast, the unspeakable Antony Ferrara, but Tony looked more like a beautiful, evil woman than a man, up to his crotch in unspeakable rites and depraved practices, and secrets so foul no decent man may learn them and live. Basic postulate. East is cruel, depraved, devious, immoral, antichrist, anti-American, in a word, evil. West is humane, decent, wholesome, straightforward, moral, sincere, and God-fearing. In a word, good. Good for what, exactly? <laughs> Suddenly a badger erupts among the boys. I don't know why he did it, just playful, friendly, and inexperienced, like the Indians who brought fruit down to the Spanish and got their hands cut off. Uh... So the counselor rushes for his saddlebag and gets out his 1912 Colt 45 auto and starts blasting at the badger, missing him with every shot at six feet. Finally, he puts his gun three inches from the badger's side and shoots. This time, the badger rolls down the slope into the stream. I can see the stricken animal, the sad, shrinking face, rolling down the slope, bleeding, dying. You see an animal, you kill it, don't you? It might have bitten one of the boys. This book is about interspecies contact, not interspecies communication. There is a basic difference between communication and contact. Communication is designed to avoid contact, to maintain a distance across which communication can take place. Contact involves identification with a creature you contact, and this can be very painful. Communication can be forced, can contact cannot. You cannot force anyone to feel. Uh, this cat book recounts my own experiences with interspecies contact. You know when it happens, it can't be faked. 
And in this case, of course, contacting the badger is very painful indeed. He just wanted to romp and play and get shot to the 45. <clears throat> Identify with that, feel that, contact that. I don't know how many of you saw the TV short on Bigfoot. Uh, tracks and sightings in the Northwest Mountain area. Interviews with local inhabitants. Uh, here's a 300 pound female slob. Uh, what in your opinion should be done about these creatures if they exist? A dark shadow crosses her ugly face and her eyes shine with conviction. Kill them. They might hurt somebody. A specimen of homo sap on screen with a long-range rifle and telescopic sights. Close-cropped beard, trying to look like an adventurer and looking like a marginal freelance journalist who writes for survival. He is quite sure big feet are out there in those hills and proposes to kill a specimen. If I lived in the area, I would be more worried about this jerk with his rifle than about Bigfoot. <laughs> but I suspect Bigfoot to be a fake like the Barnum and Bailey unicorn. <clears throat> uh, well, a camera team uh, just happens on Bigfoot with their cameras all set up and ready to go. Lights, action, camera. There he is, about a hundred yards away, walking with a strange, slow gait, taking six feet at a stride like a moonwalk. Uh, scientific stride experts say this is not a human stride. Well, certainly not at 24 frames per second. I suspect it to be a man in a gorilla suit projected in slow motion. When I was four years old, I saw a vision in Forest Park, St. Louis. Uh, my brother was ahead of me with an air rifle. I was lagging behind, and I saw a little green reindeer about the size of a cat, clear and precise in the late afternoon sunlight as if seen through a telescope. Well, can those images, those visions be photographed? Certainly. Anything that can be seen can be photographed and anything that can be photographed can be faked. The magical me medium is being bulldozed away, no more green reindeer in Forest Park. Angels are leaving all the alcoves everywhere. The medium in which unicorns, Bigfoot, green deer exist, always thinner like the rainforests and the creatures that live and breathe in them as the forests fall to make way for motels and Hiltons, the whole magical universe is dying. Well, life such as it is goes on. Dylan's is still open. I am the cat who walks alone. To me, all supermarkets are alike. <clears throat> uh, this is the end. We are the cats inside. We are the cats who cannot walk alone, and for us there is only one place. Walk alone for us. Thank you. Thank you. Well, 